Longmont, Colorado has some of the most enjoyable things to do in Boulder County. And that's saying something, especially when you're competing with the city of Boulder itself. The culture of Colorado, at least along the Front Range, is heavily focused on outdoor activities. And with views like this, it's not hard to understand why. But Longmont has done an excellent job of complementing affordability with providing its residents excellent opportunities to enjoy living here. As a result, it is a highly desired location. People want to move here. Here's why. First on our list is getting out into Southern Longmont and taking a ride along the St. Vrain Greenway. This 18 mile out and back trail runs along the St. Vrain River, running from the Vance Brand Airport on the west side of town, all the way to the Sandstone Ranch Community Park on the east side. The trail is concrete, so it's a great option for a morning jog, some sections of it. Not sure if you're trying to do a nine or 18 mile jog in the morning to start off, but it's also great to take a bike on and enjoy some of the beautiful views of the Front Range and the surrounding areas of town. Also, given the fact that the trail runs along the St. Vrain River, in the spring and summer months, it's not uncommon to see dozens of people tubing down the river, trying to enjoy a beautiful afternoon. I'll throw a link below so you can find some more information on the best access points to do this. But the Greenway offers you the ability to experience a combination of suburban life with the rural aesthetic of Boulder County. Really, it's reflective of the entire atmosphere of Longmont. You're not cramped up in a suburb where there's just pockets of nature here and there, like you would be in a town much closer to Denver. But instead, just step outside and you're within a few minutes distance of an amazing trail that can make for a terrific workout or even just a scenic stroll. So let's take a break from our ride along the St. Vrain Greenway and head over to the Boulder County Fairgrounds and visit the Longmont Farmer's Market. The Greenway actually cuts just north of it so you can easily access the fairgrounds from here. From the beginning of April through November, the Longmont Farmer's Market takes place every Saturday from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. and is a fantastic location for a nice, relaxing morning for yourself or your family. There are several dozen local vendors and shops that come together to form a massive market, offering a wide range of products. Of course, local farmers sell organic produce, nearby ranchers come and sell their meats, artisans come occasionally to sell their handcrafted designs and products, and then there's shops for coffee, pastries, honey, chocolate, you name it. Plus, there's always live music played in the center of the market. So it's a terrific spot to take your family, especially if you have kids who can enjoy the entertainment and some kid-friendly activities there as well. The Longmont Farmer's Market is a fantastic place to go to start your weekend, especially during the spring and summer months when the temperatures are perfect. It might be a favorite spot for you. Okay, so shopping aside, let's get back to the outdoors. But this one is especially important once summer hits and it gets hot. Let's explore the Union Reservoir and McIntosh Lake, two lakes located on either side of Longmont, both offering a ton of opportunities to enjoy the water. A nice addition to the Boulder Reservoir down closer to the city to enjoy a Saturday or Sunday, or any day really, as long as the sun is shining. And in this part of Colorado, that's practically every day. Starting with the Union Reservoir, this natural lake can be a terrific spot to enjoy a nice afternoon on the beach, or if you're a fan of paddleboarding, windsurfing, or kayaking, you can embark on a few laps around the entire lake. It may take you a little bit though, the lake is big. Now the reservoir is only about three miles from downtown Longmont, so it's close to the town, but when you're there, it feels like you're hidden off in the country. But now let's head over to McIntosh Lake. This is another lake located on the western side of town, which provides incredible views of the Front Range and of Long's Peak. This is an excellent place for paddleboarding, kayaking, and sailing. Swimming, though, isn't allowed here, so keep that in mind. And there's a limit to how many boats can be on the water at one time. I do want to add that both lakes allow sailing. However, if you're looking for a place to wakeboard or water ski, then I'd recommend the Boulder Reservoir. These two don't allow it. But these two lakes are incredible spots to enjoy the day on. I can't recommend them enough. Now, after that, the next thing you have to do is go and enjoy some of Long's Longmont's breweries. If you're unaware, there are over 400 total breweries in the state of Colorado alone. Most are in the Denver metro area, and about 10% are in Boulder County, so around 40 breweries. And there are a few noteworthy ones here in Longmont. Go and visit Left Hand Brewing Company, which is just a few minutes off of Main Street, or check out 300 Sons Brewing for some terrific food while you enjoy your drinks, or even the newer edition like the Bearded Brewer Artisan Ales, which might keep you coming back for 
for more. Of course, the culture of breweries in Longmont is reflective of the overall culture found in Boulder. Around 40 breweries total, right? So after you tried these, I'm sure you're gonna wanna go visit the nearby towns and see what they have to offer. Now there are several I'd recommend. So after this, check out my video on the best things to do in Boulder, where I talk a little bit more about them. But it makes for an excellent way to enjoy a terrific lunch, especially after a morning ride on the St. Vrain, or just to supplement your morning at the farmer's market. Okay, now the fifth thing to do in Longmont, and I'll cheat here a little bit and say the surrounding areas as well, because at this point, you're gonna wanna enjoy the surrounding areas too. Hopefully you're not afraid of heights, because this one is hot air ballooning. Yes. This is actually very common along the Front Range. Depending on where you live, either in Longmont itself, but also in the surrounding areas like Erie, Colorado, for example, where there's a ton of activity, you can see hot air balloons out in droves on Saturdays and Sundays. I'll throw a link below where you can get a bit more information on this and see if you wanna schedule a flight. But what better way to get the blood pumping a little bit and enjoy the incredible views of the Front Range and of Boulder County? Sure, the footage here is impressive, but seeing it with your own eyes is something else entirely. It is a fantastic activity you have to do at least once. And if you're up for a little more intensity, well then I'd recommend skydiving in Longmont too. Something for another video. But there are clearly opportunities here to see Colorado from a little bit higher up, which can of course make your day and absolutely make for an incredible story to tell your friends. Now this is one of the many reasons Longmont is a desired location to move to. There's clearly so much to do. But as I said before, this is reflective of Boulder County as a whole. As as a result, there's way more things to do in the surrounding areas when you group them all together. So if you live in Longmont, you get all these benefits too. If you wanna know about more things you can do in the area, check out my video on some of the best things to do in Boulder. And I guarantee you'll love every single one. This is Life in the Front Range, I'll see you there.